Welcome everybody, it's World Press Freedom Day today, an important day uh, for Lucia because we believe in press freedom and in freedom of expression. Um, so thank you all for coming today, it's really nice to see so many of you here. Um, yeah, press freedom is under attack uh, in a lot of countries around the world, uh, also in our some of our European countries also present today. Um, press freedom is under attack not only by private people and, and organizations and groups, but also from the government themselves. So that is very sad to see. Um, but yeah, since Lucia, we believe in positivity to change the world. Um, we're going to show some of our favorite posters related to press freedom today. So I will ask each one of you to say who you are, where you are in the world, show us your poster um, and then translate it to us in English if it's in another language. And I will start with mine. It's a Swedish poster saying Låt mer yttrandefrihet leva på gatorna, meaning let more free speech live on the streets. Then I will go now to Kiro. Hello everybody. I'm Kiro from North Macedonia, from Sicily, and this is my poster. It's a Macedonian translation of a classic Lucia poster saying, Media Today is even more black and white than early photography ever was. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Then we go over to Kuhn. Yeah, uh, hello, I'm Kuhn. Uh, I'm living in the Netherlands. And I will show you first of it. I don't know if it's possible to do it. Mm. Hold it closer, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it works. You want to screen share? Yeah. Mm. I think it. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> no, the poster is saying I crossed so many borders, I already forgot they exist. Mm -hmm. Nice, thank you. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Then we go over to Jessica. Oh, hi everyone. Um, uh, my my poster today. Um, wait, of course, my name. I am Jessica, and I'm in Lisbon, Portugal. And my poster today is in Portuguese. It says, um, "Parece fácil e é," and that means. It seems easy, and it is. And I chose that one because I think that committing to what we believe uh, are our values um, is actually easy. The implementation it might be hard, but to believe in something that is so important for our democracies, that's quite easy. Wow. Thank you so much, Jessica. Uh, Claudio? Hello, everybody. I'm Claudio I'm from Italy, and this is my poster. Now I'm just try to make it clear and the meaning is free the one who reads and it's short but it's full of meanings because it's the it's, it's the main meaning of, of this uh, this day the press freedom day so I, I think it's, it's very meaningful it's a beautiful poster thank you Claudio Alex Hi everyone, I'm Alex, I'm from Prima Macedonia, and I choose this poster, I'm trying. Can you see it? I think yes. So it says, how much freedom of speech can democracy tolerate? Um, here I would like to um, bring in questions, the actions of democracy and democratic governments, um, because I think that there has been a decline um, in people believing in democracy, and I just like bring that a bit in question. Thank you so much, Alex. We continue in Macedonia. We invite Marina. 
Hello everyone, I'm Marina and I come from another Macedonian city uh, called Bitola. I chose uh, free the internet from human uh, oppression because I think also in the in this technological era when we have the chance to express our opinion uh, online, there is still oppression there as well. So very important topic for me. Mm. Thank you so much, Marina. We go over to Mehmet. Hi, I'm Mehmet from Turkey. Uh, my slogan uh, will be Turkish. Eğer özgür basın varsa, özgür toplumda vardır. So it means, I think it's simple but effective. It means um, if there is a free press, there is also a free society. Oh, beautiful. That's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, then we will go over to Emil. Okay, I'm Emil. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm talking to you from Berlin. And I'll get my poster. Imagine that everything in newspapers would be true. So I saw a lot of posters that made me think and laugh when I was looking for a poster for today. And I chose this one because like, even in the countries with a lot of press freedom, um, yeah, this poster still with, uh, still true to the So yeah, even if there's a lot of freedom, if it's very biased, you still get very weird situations. And I also had fun imagining this world. Okay. Thank you very much, Emil. We go to Kaula. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I'm Kaula from Morocco. I have chosen uh, this poster. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe can you? Read, yeah. Maybe read it to us. Okay. So uh, Press Freedom Day, and suddenly state television shows the news from a totally different perspective. Mm. Yeah, that's. Uh, um, I've chosen it because uh, we all know how uh, perspectives are very essential when it comes to news. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Kaula. We You're go welcome. over to Sam, and I'm hoping also maybe Sam that you could hunt Luis because he he left us. Uh, he left the screen. But first, we would like to hear which poster you chose. All right, hello everybody. Uh, now try to have, or to get the poster I wrote, I chose was this one, which is it says uh, Lucia for the right to interpret reality. Mm. And I had actually originally had seen it in Spanish, but I figured I would share the English translation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's uh, really important because yeah, we have we we should be able to kind of interpret how things are happening, and it reminded me, it took me to kind of what's happening in Mexico and how many journalists are being pers uh, persecuted by uh, cartels and even the government um, for actually being critical of the things that are happening. Mm. So, uh, that's what it took me to, and it's really important to be creating awareness. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. We would love to hear it in Spanish as well, but maybe another time. Then last but not least, and Sam, if you could try to get hold of Luis, uh, muted, and then we go to Agata in between. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Agatha. I'm calling from Berlin, Germany. And yeah, you can see the poster I chose. Um, I chose this poster because, uh, yeah, I think the message is quite clear and it, um, yeah, um, it's a kind of funny, but at the same time, a, a bl blunt way of transporting the message. And um, yeah, it puts the focus on um, our individual a uh, actions mm -hmm. and uh, makes us think about the context also. And yeah, that's why. 
Yeah, because Lucia likes her toilet walls, but we shouldn't only <laughs> uh, use our freedom of speech on the toilet walls, for sure. Um, yeah, we. Um, some of you mentioned also the the violence, um, the oppression, the tax on press freedom. Um, I would like to show the viewers also. We have um, a map from the from Reporters Without Borders, which shows the 2020 freedom of press worldwide uh, status, and it doesn't look too good to be honest, because there are uh, very few uh, countries that are on the the good side. Uh, let's say, and um, yeah. Um, so I think we don't have Luis at the moment. Would anyone like to to share anything from um, how the situation are in their countries right now regarding press freedom? Well, I can start uh, to say just a couple of words about Macedonia. Alex and Kiro can maybe also add some things. Um, I would say that um, before, when we have a real modern dictator, uh, the government that was uh, on stage for more than 10 years, it was really scary for a country that is also country candidate uh, to enter the European Union to have such a uh, freedom, freedom uh, of, of speech level. Mm. It was very scary because many of the of the journalists that were saying something against the government or criticizing just, they were disappearing or they had some accident just a couple of days uh, after they, they showed something. Mm. So this was a situation that concerned all of us. And I think we, especially in the youth uh, sector, uh, the youth workers, we started to take this really to, to expose uh, as something very important in our country. So it was really, really a hard situation that I think, according to me, in the last years, it's a little bit improved, but still it's uh, not what it should be. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Marina. Um, definitely, these um, the attacks are very, um, yeah, something we all, no? all of society should be very concerned uh, about this. So we say welcome to Anas. We have a new, uh, new person joining us uh, all the way from Palestine. So Anas, we did the round already. So can you please tell us your name, where you are and tell us your poster and translate it to English if, you, if it's not in English. Ah, you can't speak. Can you show us the poll? You have the poster on the phone. Anas is doing something. Anas, we don't we see you, but we can't hear you. Mm, no, still no. It's maybe some uh, some setting. Or can you show us your poster? Let's see, maybe we lost Anas again. Yeah, um, just here in Germany on the 1st of May, we, uh, yeah, a TV team was attacked, uh, unclear why, but four of them ended up in hospital, two of them seriously injured. Um, and this is, yeah, just one example of, of attacks happening on, on journalists when they are trying to do their job. And for all of us, this is, um, yeah, a serious, serious concern. Would anyone else like to comment on the um, on the press freedom situation in their countries? So I do want to share something, but maybe um, Kuhn can um, confirm or not confirm this. So what I'd like to share is that growing up in the Netherlands, I, I had the impression that as a politician, like if you were not in the satire programs, if you're not we were not being made fun of, you didn't exist. So like that kind of role is also possible. Um, yeah, this was an experience that I wanted to share. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's quite true, I guess. 
I, I don't actually, it's, it's hard to say about the Netherlands, like how it, to me, it looks really like, there's a lot of freedom, mm. but I also feel there, well, there's a lot of information uh, held back, especially from, especially medical information, mm. I think. It's just an impression. I don't have any uh, proof about it. Mm. Uh, but sometimes I feel it's just like they have this uh, package, like they serve to people and then and it's all like cut out, like... Mm. It's all crystal clear. Like, okay, this is this is it, and they just scrap some of the things off. The I don't know. How, I would say mm. they they left some things out. Mm. Uh, I'm quite sure about that, but I, it's just it's more a, it's more a feeling, mm. I guess. So you're thinking uh, more think of, of censorship than than actual like that the situation is still quite uh, quite good, you know. I think it's just really smart censorships. Mm. Uh, so smart that, that people don't really, like, they have an idea that everything is, like, served well. Mm. But I think under the surface, uh, there's a lot of things going on about, uh, well, especially uh, information, medical information mm. uh, that they are holding back because okay. of um, companies that are involved or something. I just have the feeling, um, okay. uh, and that quite concerns me. But I don't really know what to do about it. But yeah, maybe maybe. Uh, but for the rest, posters. for the rest in the Netherlands, it's 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 yeah. um, there is a lot of things going on. There's a lot of um, information about yeah what's happening. So that's really good. Maybe you need to so make some posters negative. about it, Kun, to bring it into Pardon? the Lucia writings. Make some posters about it. Um, let's <laughs> go over see yeah. another try with Anas. Can you speak now? Can you hear us? Can you speak? Anas? Mm. For those who didn't see the message, you will try to connect to us from this from another device. Ah, from the phone. Mm. Okay. Maybe we quickly just go through. We have the, um, the fresh list of uh, press freedom in the world go through which uh, where our countries are today so sweden is on fourth place the netherlands on fifth place so we are in this um quite uh, yeah the good zone uh, portugal 10th place germany 11th place that's quite nice then we have um slovenia 30 32nd place where jessica used to live until recently italy is down on 41 we have yeah, Bosnia, Croatia, Georgia, Armenia, Poland down between 58 and 62. Then comes Hungary 89 and North Macedonia 92. Um, and then again we have yeah big gap and then Morocco is on 133rd place, Palestine 137 and Syria down really at the bottom 174. Unfortunately, I didn't find Turkey uh, nor Egypt on the list. We have a big loose group in Egypt and we were hoping that some of them would join from today. Um, yeah, we will leave links um, of this uh, information to those of you who want to, to read more. Um, let's see, there is someone to admit. Um, would anyone else like to comment quickly and then we'll make another try with Anas and then we will uh, wrap this up I think. Ah, oh, now we we see Anas connecting to audio. Would anyone else like to go in between from a country that wasn't mentioned maybe? Buongiorno, now Buongiorno. I hear you. Oh, so let's hear it from Palestine. How are you Anas and what is your poster? I'm good, I'm good, good to see you. You want to see my poster? Yes, please. We are eager to see it. All right. Now, this is, uh, this is my poster. Uh-huh. It's written a lot of animals uh, would be happy with 1.5 meters distance between each other. Uh-huh. Yep. Factory farming, ah. So an actual um, an actual poster. Why did you choose this one, Anas? 
I choose uh, this one. First of all, good to see you all. Mm. Even I don't see anyone now, but good to see, good to hear you all. Mm. And uh, the other things that I choose this poster because it's uh, it's time for this poster, and uh, it's time to remember this poster after we finish this crisis. Mm. So to to give to give the animal their space to to be alive and to remind ourselves that we are not alone in this planet. So uh, mm. it's. Uh, it's a good poster and in a good time for later when this pandemic end to to remind how 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 beautiful the animal life it was when we are in our home and we will not do, and when we were not doing that uh, a big pollution in there mm. yeah thank you thank you for bringing in this aspect uh, one of the things um now, when the humans are suffering during Corona, actually the nature uh, and the animals have um, gotten a chance to um, actually, yeah, to breathe, to breathe, to get yes. back to the the more normal levels of uh, yeah um, pollution and exactly, different yeah. things. Yeah, it's been super nice to to talk to you all about press freedom today. Um, yeah, Lucia Berlin are doing uh, many online uh, text writings in many languages. Feel free to join us. Um, we will um, start doing more of them and also invite uh, on the Facebook so we can create new posters together. Um, we invite you all, encourage you all to write in your languages to um, keep giving people the chance to engage this way and uh, make use of their um, freedom of speech uh, and not only saving it for the toilet wall. Um, yeah, uh, I think the world needs activism more than ever. So remember to be active, to do everything uh, you can to to improve the conditions for the people around you. And um, yeah, we're also a big community. We are all we are all connected. So it was lovely to see uh, so many of you uh, gathered today. You want to stick your face into the camera? Mr. Penino, the older <laughs> Penino, the Penino. Hi. <laughs> so, no, no good, uh, no good uh, technical stuff without the behind the scene, scenes people. So, today he was lights, camera, action, everything. So, yeah, thank you all so much for joining, and uh, hope thank to see you. Soon. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for this thank amazing you. day. Thanks. Thank you, thank you very Take much. Care. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye. bye.